is the Zafian scan. Hello, traveling for work, part one. Now we'll introduce some new words. The first word, destination, the place you are traveling to. Destination means the place where you are traveling to. Number two, meeting, an event when people need to discuss something. An event when people need to discuss something. Scenery, mountains, rivers, or other natural things you can see. We call it scenery. Booking, arranging for something you want later. Arranging for something you want later. Okay, booking, arranging for something you want later. Carriage, part of a train. Part of a train. Return ticket, ticket for a journey to a place and back again. To go and return. We call it return ticket. And the opposite of it, single ticket. Economy, for less money. Okay, for a less money, for the common people. Assistant, mean helper. Arrange, to order something. Sleeper train, it's a kind of train for sleeping in it. Again, destination, meeting, scenery, booking, carriage, return ticket, economy, assistant, arrange, and sleeper train. Okay. Here we have in your scan page two, there is a picture. Okay, about traveling for work. Now we will read it and answer the questions. Okay. Here we have the passage. Okay. Hi, Ali. At the moment, I'm at Cairo Station with my father. We are talking. We are taking the sleeper train to Aswan tonight. He, will, he has a meeting there tomorrow, and he has asked me to go with him. The train leaves at 7 o'clock. There are a lot of other people who are waiting too, so the train is going to be busy. Traveling by train is a great way to see the scenery of a country. I have been on this journey before. The beds are very comfortable. I know that we are going to arrive at our destination after a good night's Please. Booking tickets is easy. You can book online or buy tickets at the station. My father bought us return tickets from Cairo to Aswan. We usually go in first class because it is more comfortable than economy class or second class. The journey takes about 13 hours. We are eating in the restaurant carriage. This evening, after dinner, the assistant on the train puts down the beds in the sleeping car. It's a fun going to sleep and knowing that we are going to wake up in a different place the next day. The train stops at Luxor early tomorrow morning on its way to Aswan. I think it will be hot in Aswan. I will call you when I arrive at the hotel. Best wishes, Tori. Okay, now we'll answer some questions. Number one, the place you are traveling to, destination. Okay, the meaning here in the bold in the red bold, mountains, rivers, or other natural things that you can see, yes, scenery. Number three, parts of the train, yes, carriage, number three. Number four, an event when people need to discuss something, meeting. Arranging for something you want later, okay, number five, booking. Number six, tickets for a journey to a place and back again, return tickets. Number seven, for less money, economy, class. Okay. Here we have the grammar of this unit about the future form. We have the present simple and the present continuous. We use and well and going to. Here we have well to predict the future or to make a quick decision and promises and sometimes offer, request, threaten, okay, this is a one we use well. When I say, for example, also I think, I'm sure, I'm sure, we use well. So we use well in prediction without evidence, in offer, quick decision, promise, threaten, okay? When I begin the sentence with I think, as this example, I think it will rain tomorrow. I will call you when I arrive at the hotel. Okay, this is well. The usage of going to prediction with evidence. 
when we have predicted based on evidence, we use going to. As we know, if the cloud is going to rain, there are a lot of clouds in the sky is going to rain. Present simple indicates the future when we speak about the timetable. As when I say the train leaves at 9 p.m., what time does your bus arrive on Saturday? Okay, this is the use of the present simple. Also, the present continuous talk about the future when we have already arranged to do something in the future. When I say I am doing a test next Monday, I already know. Our class is visiting a museum tomorrow. Here we have four forms of the present of the future. Present continuous, present simple, will and going to. Now, we'll have a, some exercise about this. Choose the correct form of the verb. The library just closes the example at 4 o'clock, so please choose a book quickly. Here we have a timetable. Number two, are the men climbing that mountain tomorrow? Okay, present continuous to get the future. We, yes, we are going on holiday next week. This is, this is already arranged. Number four, what time? Does your bus arrive? This is a timetable. Okay, number five. Nadia can't visit you on Saturday. She is helping, yes, her mother for a family party. Okay, that's all for this part. Thank you and goodbye.